Unnamed palace sources and the UK press has thrown everything and the kitchen sink into vilifying Harry and Meghan over the past few years. And after all of this, they've been hoping that their efforts would result in Harry and Meghan being disliked by everyone, not just people of the royalist crowd. And even after this years-long smear campaign that is still going, Harry and Meghan received standing ovation at Vax Live in L.A., Harry and Meghan both received cheers from a really happy crowd in New York for the Global Citizen concert, and two standing ovations from veterans and their families at the Invictus Games. So despite cozying up to the tabloids, particularly the Daily Fail, for good coverage, William and Kate instead haven't been doing so well globally. Let's not forget that really bad Caribbean tour, which was supposed to be a charm offensive, but was just lacking in charm and incredibly offensive to almost all of the Caribbean nations that they visited. And it was really odd to see the stark differences between the coverage from global media, and not just the U.S., like other uh, media sources throughout Europe and the Caribbeans covering that tour from hell versus the British royalist-loving coverage. Stark difference. Global coverage called it like it is, and no surprise, the UK tabloids and UK press called it a triumph. And they continued to do that until it was blaringly obvious that they weren't going to get away with that false narrative. And now, today, William was booed at Wembley in a stadium full of Brits. So who would have thought that this would happen? I certainly didn't think that he would be the one getting booed. Because let's not forget that only a few days ago, I believe it was the Express that had a headline encouraging people to boo Meghan and Harry if they were to appear on the palace palace balcony, sorry, during the Jubilee. So basically, inciting hate and boos for Harry and Meghan, and now only a few days later, Prince William is the one that got booed. And I mean, it was loud, in-your-face type of booing. Now, one of the Twitter users that commented on this said that whenever he ventures, he, meaning William, outside the royalist bubble, he discovers how unpopular he is. William invested all of his capital in a smear campaign against his brother, and his brother's wife in order to elevate himself to a small minority of bigoted tabloid readers instead of working hard to win the majority's respect. Now this tweet pretty much sums up what I think or take on this entire situation. I mean, it's karma. Didn't think I'd see it quite so quickly, but there you have it. In your face, Loud as hell, cannot be denied. Hostile booing from Brits to their future, future king. That karma, though, 